Hi, I'm David Fazzullo, the creator of LiveBrush, and this is a quick tutorial showing off some of the new style properties in version 1.1, as well as a pretty cool flower effect. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hide the default paper layer. And then we're going to enable our toolbar colors by locking it, and we're going to set it to just white. so that we can see our line. So let's start customizing the style. Let's start by naming it Flower, Flower 1 actually. And let's start with our line style properties. Let's close the uh, layer panel so we can see more style here. So the first style property we're going to change is the edge type. We're going to change it to Rake. And you can see now that we have two lines. So let's increase the number of lines to 100 and um, the weight to 1. It'll look pretty much like a solid line at this width. The second style property we're going to change is the width. Let's set it to oscillate so that the width will go back and forth, but let's increase the width to 500. The next style property we're going to change is the angle. We're going to set it to random and we're going to leave the min and max values. You see now we get a very chaotic kind of brush. And the last style property we're going to change is the opacity. We're going to set it to oscillate just like the width, but we're going to have it go from minimum 20 to maximum 5. You see now we get a little more elegant brush, but when we keep the brush in one spot and just kind of go back and forth, we get this kind of a uh, flower effect. So let's get some colors in here, and let's try drawing again. It's still white. It's because we've locked our color on the toolbar. Unlock that, and the colors will come from the style. Let's change the color type to multiple and have it transition 20 strokes between each color. Now when we draw, we get this kind of fractal flower. So let me just do a quick recap. We created a new style called Flower 1. We changed the min and max values for various properties such as width, angle, and opacity. What this means is that the brush can go from a minimum value to a maximum value. And then we change the colors. For extra credit, you can make the image on my desktop by changing the line style type to solid, the opacity to fixed at minimum 100, and the angle to rotate. Thanks for watching.